materials science and biology. Piezoelectricity refers to the capacity of certain materials to generate an electric charge when subjected to mechanical stress or change shape in response to an electric field. The piezoelectric effect is especially pronounced in piezoelectric microcrystals, which alter their charge distribution when compressed. This effect underpins a wide range of technologies, from energy conversion systems to sensor arrays. Devices such as quartz watches, ultrasound machines, microphones, like the one I'm talking into, and even inkjet printers, they all utilize this phenomenon, making piezoelectricity a cornerstone of modern electronics and sensor technology. In biological systems, this property is equally remarkable, if not more. Various tissues, like human skin, exhibit piezoelectric characteristics, converting mechanical energy, like pressure or movement, into bioelectric signals. This ability plays a critical role in wound healing, where the electrical signals help to orchestrate tissue regeneration. Among the most intriguing examples of biological piezoelectricity is found inside your head, in the pineal gland, a small endocrine organ situated deep within the brain. Researchers have identified that there are microcrystals within the gland, and they're primarily composed of calcite, CaCO3. It's a mineral typically not associated with piezoelectric properties. These crystals, measuring between 10 to 20 micrometers in length, exist in three distinct shapes. Cubic, hexagonal, and cylindrical. Each crystal is composed of calcium, carbon, and oxygen atoms, elements that, under the right conditions, exhibit piezoelectric behavior. While the pineal gland's primary function is the regulation of melatonin, a hormone that controls the circadian rhythm, our internal sleep-wake cycle, the presence of these calcite crystals has led to intriguing hypotheses. Some researchers suggest that these crystals may have the ability to interact with external electromagnetic fields, possibly acting as a type of biological sensor. This theory stems from the notion that the piezoelectric effect could enable the gland to transduce mechanical energy, such as subtle vibrations in the environment, into electrical signals, providing sensory input to the human body. While the concept is speculative and not yet widely accepted by the scientific community, it raises questions about the pineal gland's potential role beyond hormone regulation. The idea that piezoelectric crystals within the human body might detect electromagnetic fields or subtle environmental vibrations suggests a possible electromechanical transduction mechanism. And such a mechanism would imply that the human body may be more attuned to non-visible frequencies than previously understood. This aligns with the broader field of bioelectromagnetics, where researchers are exploring how biological systems interact with electrical and magnetic fields at molecular and cellular levels. The implications of these findings, if validated, could open brand new frontiers in both biomedical research and sensor technology. Understanding how piezoelectric materials in the body may interact with environmental energy fields could lead to innovative diagnostic tools or treatments that harness these interactions. Imagine a world where wearable devices that monitor piezoelectric responses might one day provide insights into the body's reaction to stress or environmental changes in real time. Despite the intrigue, the idea that the pineal gland can detect electromagnetic fields remains largely hypothetical. It requires much more rigorous research and peer-reviewed studies before it can be considered part of mainstream science. But nevertheless, the intersection of piezoelectricity in human biology 
is absolutely fascinating. It fascinates researchers. It highlights the untapped potential within our understanding of both natural piezoelectric systems and their artificial counterparts. These are interesting things with JC.